welcome to another Icarus tutorial. As you may or may not know, the launch date is tomorrow, December 3rd, 2021. Today is the day before, and we have access to a beta version once again in order to find some problems, if they exist, to let the devs know before the game goes live. So now when you first start your character, you're going to get to uh, this screen here where you can go to the workshop. And if you've bought the deluxe version, which is now called the supporters version, you will have access to this first cohort and viro suit. So you'll want to click it and then you'll want to click on top of it again to craft it. And once you have it crafted, you can go to loadout here, slide it into your enviro suit inventory, and then we can go to an outpost. And then we'll be wearing that new suit with us. So let's go and check out the ice area and see what it's all about. And we probably down here in this section here, before you host your session, you can tell whether you want your friends to be able to access it or if you want to make it private. And for this video, I'm just going to say private. In like previous versions of the beta, we did hop onto the ship and head down to the planet. That new suit looks awesome. And we owe Steve. Steve owes me $12. See that sign up there? <laughs> Steve owes me $12. Now naturally, once you get to this section, you don't want to waste any time gathering resources. So you'll find trees and wood and everything up there, fern as well for your uh, sticks. This looks like it might be a cave. It is, I think, but I don't have anything on me to, uh, to look inside really. But on the ground, you will find these pieces of wood that you can gather. There'll be small rocks as well. And there's wildlife here, so you'll be able to go hunt, kill, and have food to eat. But you won't find the normal predator uh, in this area like the mammoths or the polar bears or the snow wolves. So this looks like it might be a cave. I don't know because I can't hit it. I don't, I don't have any uh, rock on me. And th this is the other thing that concerns me. When you get in this area, see here's a bunch of rocks you can get down the ground. When you get in this particular area, you won't have much time before you start freezing so how are you supposed to be able to level up pretty quick in order to be able to pick some points from your tree so let's see if we can so we need uh, fiber and sticks so that means you'll have to run up there to collect it now you can see my screen already is starting to frost over because I'm cold I have nothing on except for a vir an enviro suit so Will I be able to collect enough to make something to hit? And this seems like it would be a really treacherous area. And maybe the only way that you can, I don't know if you can visit this area once you visited another outpost. Wow, she's really freezing up fast. Certainly don't want to waste time here. Definitely want to get that first uh, because then we can hit everything else with it. So definitely need some of this to breathe.
I won't be able to see inside the cave. And we're not going to spend a whole lot of time here. I just wanted to see if it was possible to get inside that cave before we actually freeze to death. I didn't know how much more of this I needed in order to be able to get wood. Oh my goodness. You need wood for a fire. You need rock to be able to create a fireplace. Can you do all this before you actually freeze your noogies off before you get back to a cave? Let's see if that really was a cave. Well, apparently you have goats here, too. And I have nothing to kill it with because I haven't even leveled up to choose any tech points. At least it's laying down there. Uh, this looks like silica. It is. Looks like coal. Well, you can burn a fire with coal. The problem is you can't create a fire. I just want to see if this was a cave. It is. All right, so she leveled up. Definitely want to create that. Let's see if we have enough to make one. problem is we have no food so whether you have fire or not really doesn't matter because we have no food yeah this is this definitely will take more than just one person I'm not gonna let you see me die on screen so <laughs> I don't see this feasible as being a, a good spot to build for one person this is a team effort for this. Let's check out the next one, the next outpost. That's Arkwood. Let's go into Arkwood. Now bear in mind, this takes us into C2, and you'll also notice that everything that we had on us from the other outposts is gone. And this is what the new Enviro suit looks like. Pretty cool. All right. Now in this area, you will have to find your water source. And the reason why I'm gathering these things up is I want to see if we can at least find a cave before we show you the next outpost. As you can tell, I have been here before because I laid stone down here to mark that I have been here before. I originally, uh, Because, I mean, naturally, I want to come out and test it 
before I actually showed you what it was all about. The other thing that I haven't uh, found out whether or not you can delete the outpost that you've made because as you can see we entered one that I had already created previously and you can tell that because of the two two uh, piles, rock piles there. So I have been here. But I would like to delete the outpost once I'm done with it too. I don't want them you know, to, to be saved forever. And I have yet to find a way to remove an outpost that I have created from the listing. So that would be interesting to see whether or not they... Ah, I didn't want that. If they give us that opportunity. Let's see what I need to create at least this. Well, that's interesting. It didn't bring my tools down, but it remembered the things that I chose from the last outpost. Well, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Hmm. Oh, the other thing that's a problem is there's no map. You have this spot up here showing that I, I think that's probably where I was in the outpost. Who knows? But it does not show you. And this is the, this is the section that you have available to you. So you can go anywhere within A1 down to D4 in order to look for caves, build, hunt. So, you know, it's quite a big area. It doesn't look like much, but it is quite a big area. Let's grab some of this so I can show you what the waterfront looks like. Leveled up again. <sighs> Generally what I do, if I'm not sure where a body of water is, I will go to the highest point of the scenery that's in front of me. I'll go to the highest spot and look down. Give me an opportunity to look down. So that's probably up in this area. I think the forest is much more friendlier to building an outpost. I mean, one less thing. You don't have to worry about freezing your tuchus off. Let's put that in our oxygen slot. Don't need this. We're not sticking around. water area looks very familiar to me. This sort of kind of resembles L12. Let's see if there's there is. We can craft that. And we can craft a fireplace. Ian, I want to go to the tech tree and pull this out and make one of those because I'm interested to look inside of a cave. Sure do run out of 
oxygen. So if this resembles L12, and if it's a copy of L12, then there should be a cave. If we head south, there should be a cave. Not what I expected. Well, the question is, how do I get the meat? Because I didn't create a knife. Oh, I think I can create a knife. I just didn't pick it. Let's uh, create that knife then. Uh, we need two more stone. Let's do this. Oh, how I miss this. He's going to run now. Because I didn't get him proper. But here's a cave. So if you head south. In seats. Oh, it, it took us down to B3. Let's, um. All right, we have it. Plenty of iron in here. Tons of it, actually. So an outpost. We have plenty. Plenty of ore. Plenty of drink. So you could live in the cave until you were established enough to build your own place. As, look at all this iron ore here. Oh, we just create a facade in the front here. Oh, he's gonna lay down, isn't he? No? Oh, he just made it easy for us, though. And you'll need 20 fur in order to make your sleeping bag. So my suggestion would be to find a cave as a ASAP as soon as possible. Get yourself established in a cave. And then go out hunting until you have your sleeping bag. So you don't have to be awake through the night. You can sleep through the night and turn it into morning. You have no time limit here. As you can see up at the top of the screen, there is no countdown. Yeah, so this is definitely a doable. Gather your materials and then start building wherever you want to build, down there in the lake or whatever. It's really not that far. And it's a perfect spot to get the food that you need. So yeah, 
Uh, I think so far this is my favorite outpost. Let's go look at the last one on the list. But this one here is Arkwood. And if you head south, you will find a cave right here in the bottom center of B3. Nice big one, too. All right, so I'm pretty sure there's other caves around here, but we're not going to spend too much time looking for caves. That's not the purpose of the video. So let's head out to the next outpost and see what that one's like. And last but not least, let's go to Outpost Hold Fast. And bear in mind, because we've gone to a different outpost, once again, we have to gather all our supplies again in order to be able to make a tool, which we'll do because we want to look for a cave here and be able to show you where a cave is located. Your first cave anyway. I took the grass away because I didn't like the way it looks. I mean, if you look, depending on, you know, when you look at some of these, they look like they're shimmering. This is a problem that I suggested to them during beta that just never seemed to have gotten fixed. It never got addressed. So I didn't want the grass underneath here to be jiggling like that and looking like it's all silvery and shiny. And I didn't want to mess with my graphics because my graphics work really well with the other games that I play. So I didn't want to mess with them here. So I just turned off the foliage. I turned it down to low. And that removes all the grass that's on the ground. And it makes it easier to find my kills when I kill something anyway. Look at this. We have coal out in the open. Let's turn that first person off. I see a bunch of wheat. What area are we in now? It doesn't tell us. Yeah, it doesn't tell us. Maybe they don't have it completely finished yet. It's basically just running around now and looking for your first cave. You don't have to worry about wolves or bears or bad lightning storms. Not the only thing you'll have to be concerned about is nighttime and being able to see. But if you create yourself a torch, that won't even be a problem. And here we go with another cave. And where are we? I eh, can't really tell you. It's not marked out yet. of it. Wow. Gold. Coal. Plenty of stuff in here. And water. So you could actually live in this cave as well until you build yourself a proper base. Something that you want to test out with on live, but you can do it here first. So just remember that living in a cave, though, means that you are going to get pneumonia. So that's something to bear in mind, too. I just can't believe how thick they made these cave walls now. I get leveled up just opening up the cave opening. All right, so that's one. I'm sure there's more.
plenty of water. That's a beautiful spot over there. That's even better right there. It's more flat. But you're close to at least one cave. So it's just, uh, yeah, I hope you like the tour, and I hope that you have fun playing Icarus. It's a really, really fantastic game. Play solo or with friends. You got plenty of wildlife here to eat. Plenty of drink. Plenty of exploration that's possible. And thank God these little things give fur now so you can actually make a bed and not have to worry about not having any wolves for the fur. Of course, it'll take you longer, you know, getting one piece from these guys, but and sometimes not getting any at all. But you do what you got to do. Yeah, it's a really nice area. I like both this one and the other forest area, but I'm really not too keen on the on the Arctic area. It seems like it'd be a little harsh to get started there, even just for building purposes, because you have no protection. From the cold, no protection from the cold. Plenty of livestock here. Oh, look at rabbit. Little rabbit. So yeah, the whole area is surrounded by the, the mountains, so you have full rain. Full rain of whatever's on your screen, I suppose. I don't think they have this one done. It looks like a grid that's maybe 5x5. Five five. Look at this waterfall. That is freaking gorgeous. Don't remember how to turn off the UI though. That'd be a fantastic picture. So, just absolutely lovely. All right, thank you for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope you have fun with Icarus 1.0 tomorrow. I'll leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. If you are a subscriber, please hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So until we meet again, you take care, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you soon.